but he's equal to Folkson, who does make the save. Folkson has done very well, to be fair, considering he's fourth choice. Twelve seconds later. Well, he's third choice. Folkson is third. Oh, no, no. Oh, Folkson, no. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan. I walk at a club three episode five of the FM20 Campus to Champions. The title race is on as we are a third of the way through the season. Ten games in of possible 30 and we are top of the league with 23 points. So it does look like the team have turned themselves round and we are indeed in a title challenge. Since you last left us, it's been fairly good, I would say. We had a little bit of a slip up towards the end of April, beginning of May. But we did turn it round. So we did play those two games on camera, Kalmar and Orobro. Followed up with a 3-0 win over Orogrite with Ario, Froling and Brajanach with the goals. A 1-0 win over Year Gardens with Tanel grabbing the goal there. And then we did slip. We did lose to Norkabing 1-0. It was a 20th minute Jonas Wind goal off one of their only shots of the game. And then this is the game that really disappointed me. A one all draw. We had to get an 88th minute equaliser from Mabrachna in a game where they had two shots all game. We had 32. So yeah, not the best. And then we drew against BK Hacken, which they scored an 88th minute equaliser common trend happening there so i was a little bit feeling down i was thinking oh we gotta try and turn this round but we have come back in style with a 3-0 win over elfsborg a team we've taken three attempts to try and beat nordegrun and tanel grabbing the goals a 2-0 win over sunsval nordegrun and silver grabbing the goals followed by our latest victory a 3-1 win over goatberg with brajanach na and Arlstrand grabbing the goals there. So we have been in pretty dominant form. And we are going up against the Hammerby side. Who are second in the league. So if we can beat them today. We will put some distance at the top of the league. The only thing I also need to report. Is that there's been a few injuries in that time. The only one that we've got left is Francisco Maxedo. Our goalkeeper. He's been out for the last three weeks. So we've had to play our backup goalkeeper for most of those games. But Maxedo, he's back in about four days. I don't think he's going to be fit enough for the second game today. But he's been out for the majority. Which means we've had to play our backup Folkson for the last at least three or four games. Which has been a bit troublesome. But a few players have stood out. Uh, Ario on the right's playing really well. Alstrand's playing really well. Nordegren's getting a few goals from left back. And then we've got uh, Henderson and Tanel also playing quite well at the moment. So we've got two games to go before we have the summer break. And we're going to be playing Hammerby first. Who I'll just show you that league table one more time. They're a point behind us. And if we can win against them, we could go four points clear of Hammerby in second. So the lineup for that game is going to be Folkson in goal, Nordegren, Ronnie Ario, Ben Larmin, and Nathaniel Ario at the back. Alstrand and Karstrom in the middle, Frolung, Henderson, and Nuh. With Tanel starting up front. I think pretty much this is my strongest side that I found in the first sort of eight games of the season. And that's going to be the side I think that's going to hopefully get us the win today. And hopefully get those four points clear of Hammerby. So it is first against second in the Allsvenskan with AIK going up against Hammerby IF. If we win, we go four points clear. If we lose, and it opens the title race wide open. So I'm going to give her an inspiring team talk. Go out there, carry on what happened in the last match. The team are hyped up. I've told them I have faith in them. So this is it, my friends. We're coming up to 10 games in. AIK are top of the league. Can we win against our closest rivals? 17 minutes in, first highlight of the game. AIK playing in the black. And we've got Hammerby playing in the green and white shorts. Well, green top green shorts. As Froling from the left comes inside. Finds Henderson. Tanel outside the area. And it's come off the crossbar from a save from the keeper. And AIK with the early threat. 
24 minutes in, we have a goal kick. We start from the back, looking at the match stats. We've had just about edge in possession, but no. Nah, comes from the right-hand side, cuts inside. Peter's man, oh, he did so well. Right up until the finish. And the first two highlights are in AIK's favour. This is a derby game. I think this is a Stockholm derby. I'm sure my Swedish followers out there will let me know if that is the case. I'm pretty sure I read in one of the news articles that this is a derby. So not only is it first against second, this is a derby game as well. Free kick from Tanel, 32 minutes in. Oh, it's tipped round the post from the goalkeeper. And he Hammerbjörk hanging on at this moment in time. AIK are all over our rivals. We just need to make that breakthrough. I'm going to shout get creative. But I think that could be the end of this highlight. Coming up to half time, 43 minutes on the clock. We have a highlight and it's Froling on the ball. Passes it back to Henderson. Lovely ball to Ario. To Na. Na in the box. And Mabrakna powers it into the net. And that does mean that we have scored a goal at the end of the first half. Sixth goal of the season for Na. He's been a very good signing from Malmo. He is someone that we needed on that right-hand side. Just to give us a bit of sort of threat of him cutting inside. But that is the first goal of this game just before half time. And that is the perfect remedy to get us back. Well, I wouldn't say back in this game, to, but to get us clear of our rivals. And I'm sure after the break, we'll be able to see that in the league table. Pretty even game. I mean, we're edging possession. Shots are about the same, but they've only had two on target. So I want to sort of encourage them. I'm going to say we need to guard against complacency. Don't think the job is done. But I can already see a bunch of 6.5s from Froling, Tunnell and Henderson. As Tunnell's on a book in, he's going to be the man to make way with Brazenac coming off the bench to make the difference. We're going into the second half. Can we double our lead or our rival's going to pull it back? 56 minutes corner for Hammerby. Deep into the box, but it's over the bar. Not going to count. Still 1-0. As we get another highlight, 59 minutes. Hammerby have come out better in the second half, but it's cleared away. And Nuss going to have a chance to counter-attack here. The way things stand, we are four points clear of Hammerby. As Nuss, unfortunately, does run into the defenders. He did really well up until he got to the centre-backs. But Froling now on the ball. He's in the box. He's got a lot of room. Oh, Hammerby just let him have the shot. Should have done a bit better there. 69 minutes, I'm going to bring Henderson off, he's on a 64%, so he is looking a bit tired out there. I'm going to move Alstrand up to advanced playmaker, and I'm going to bring on Hansen to swap over with Karlström, so we get a bit of freshen up on the midfield as well. Ronnie Ario's on 70%, he is still coming back from fitness. Problem is, I didn't put a centre-back on the bench. Very, very clever of me. So, uh, yeah. You're staying on Roddy Ario because clearly I cannot pick my bench. 86 minutes, around about five minutes to go before full time. And it is Hammerby on the ball. They've been better than us, I would say, second half. They have had more highlights than we have. But Kaib is approaching our goal. No one's challenging him. He's got past the defender. He carries on going. But he's equal to Folkson, who does make the save. Folkson has done very well, to be fair, considering he's fourth choice. But, uh, well, is he fourth choice? Yeah, because we've got Texaria, or Mexaria, who's out injured. Our next one, Johansson's out on loan. Well, he's third choice. Folks and his third... Oh, no! No! Oh, folks and no! <laughs> I was just praising you! It's the case! I was literally just praising you to go, Is he fourth choice? No, he's third choice! He's doing all right! He's not too bad! Oh... Folsom, what are you doing? It's 1-1. Hammerby have found a way back in the game. I would say it is deserved, and it is deserved. They have come back into it second half, but what a way to go. Hansen puts it in the box. Clear away. Is that a penalty? Oh, it's a penalty. Froling to step up. Oh, he's hit the post. <laughs> oh, we're just not destined to win this game, are we? We're just not destined to win it. You know, we give away a silly goal from our goalkeeper. Froling hits the post with a penalty. Oh, it's in the goal! It's offside! 
oh, we're just not going to win, are we? You know, three things happen in a space of two minutes, right? We have a stupid goal conceded. We have a penalty that hits the post. And then we have a goal ruled out for offside. If I've ever seen a game tell us you're not going to win this game, this is it. All we need now is a Hammerby last minute winner. And that'll just make it complete. But we'll see the game out together. There is 1-1. One, one. I'm in two minds here. I'm going to say, unlucky boys. It wasn't our day. Clearly, it wasn't our day. So we do pick up a draw against second place Hammerby. A little bit disappointing. Another 88th minute equaliser. Common trends. We just seem to concede goals late on. Or score goals late on, really. So... If in the next game, put a bet on that there's going to be goal in the 18th minute. You're probably not that far off. But we are still top of the league, though. That's the main thing. And there's an injury worry for Dargaland. He's not one of our players. Nabrakna scores again. We will praise him. You've done well today, Nabrakna. As we are still top of the league. Although we could have been four points clear if we hadn't conceded that very silly goal. So, uh... When, I think, is it, I can't even remember my goalie's name. Is it Texeria? No, Mixedo. Texeria, Mixedo. Very, very, very similar sounding. So I can't wait for him to come back. As uh, folks, son, I was praising you. And then you messed it all up. So we are going to come back for Helsingborgs, who are in ninth place. Very disappointing from them. It's not usually the, that round about the table. They're normally quite high up. So we'll come back for them. Let's hope my goalkeeper is fit enough for that game. Mexedo is back for the Helsingborgs game, so he is in goal. He has replaced Folkson, who did make that mistake in the last game. He did have to pass a fitness test, but they did say he was fit enough for the game, so he goes straight into the side. Sundergrun comes in for Ario, as he did pick up a suspension, and Brazenach is going to start up front, as opposed to uh, Kiki Silver. Oh, Kiki Silver, where is he? Where is he, Tanel? There he is, I forgot his name. Right, let me make sure I've got a defender on the bench. So I've got Felix Michel. So I think I'll bring on Soprania as well. So I've got two defenders, a defensive midfielder. Yeah, we're all good. We've got enough coverage on the bench. So that's going to be the line. Apart from that, all unchanged. And we're going to get the game against Helsingborgs underway. Let's all hope we don't have the repeat of the last game and make a silly goalkeeping error. And then can't score a winning goal. So, Helsing's balls got a bit defensive. They know that they're coming at us. They know they've got to get something today. So, I'm going to say we owe Helsing's balls after what happened in the last match. Go out there. Get revenge. Where are they in the league? They are still in 11th place. So, they are struggling themselves. So, can we get over the disappointment of the draw to get three points today? Free kick from Karlstrom, eight minutes in. Free header from Ario. And Ronnie Ario has made it 1-0 to AIK against Helsingborgs. It's a lovely free kick manoeuvre. And that will be the perfect start to this game, nine minutes in. Karlstrom puts it in the box. Ronnie Ario's on his own. It's a free header. And he's made it 1-0 to AIK. Corner, 13 minutes in. Helsingborg's looking for an immediate reply, blocked. And Henderson will clear the ball. And we do get Brazenac on the ball. Brazenac beats the defender. Well, they do get a slide, but it's a race to the ball. And that was kind of it. But we do get another corner, 15 minutes in. And it's at the back post. And we do get away with it only for now, as Maxedo does make the save. Helsingborg's come alive after the goal. And they are looking for an equaliser. As there's a third corner, but Ben Larman hoofs it clear. 90 minutes in, we start from our goalkeeper, start from the back. As Ben Larman looks for plays ahead of him. He's on his own, Look, he's not got the ball for a while, but he does find that. He's going to play it inside to Henderson. He's got the options to the side of him, he uses Arlstrand. And then we've got Froling making the run, come inside. He takes a shot, it's a save from Arvidsson. I thought that was going in the goal. 34 minutes in, we are slightly losing the possession battle, which is something we don't really see very often at AIK, as the defender's easily dispossessed by Jero. Plays it back, though, and Helsingborgs have won that possession. This is what I'm saying. We don't hardly ever lose the possession battle, but Svensson comes inside, 
Helsing's balls have looked dangerous though. And they do look like they can score a goal. I hope I just haven't jinxed myself here. As Sjöberg comes out wide, plays it inside. They've had the ball for a while here. Normally means there's a goal coming. I can smell a goal. There's a goal in the air. And it's a block by the defender. Oof. My smell sensors were not correct. Coming up to half time, still 1-0. I would say that we have been the second best side since we scored. So I think we need to make sure that we uh, don't get complacent, really. So I've told them exactly that. Don't get complacent. As we've got Munrak Brunner on a 6.4. So Kiki Silva can come on for him. Brajinax on a 6.5. Going to be keeping an eye on him in the next 5-10 minutes. As we go into the second half. Hopefully try and seal all three points. 65 minutes. 20 minutes after the break. And we do start on the ball with Ben Larmin. Arlstrand. Deep with the ball. Long ball to Froling. Got a bit of room here. He's got a bit of pace. Beats the defender. But he beats the slide. He's got players with him. He selfishly goes on his own. Should have used the man in the middle. Froling. That was very, very poor. And for that reason, you're coming off. You are tired as well. So that also helps my decision. So who can I bring on? So we've got Kiki Silva. Move on to the left-hand side. We'll bring on Tanel. Can do a job. Tanel can do a job on the right-hand side temporarily. That's fine. Nordegren's on a 6.4. Do I make my last sub now, though? Uh, no, I'm going to give it 5-10 minutes before I make that sub, but still 1-0 up. It could go either way, really. 85 minutes. He's got up to a 6.5, so I'm going to keep Nordegren on. But Henderson, he is struggling. He's on 60%. He's on his last legs, so Hansen can come on for him. We'll do what we usually do. Move Alstrand up to advanced playmaker. We've got five minutes to go. We got three minutes before the 88th minute, all right? Just putting that out there. Three minutes to go before the 88th minute. And we have passed it. That's it. We've won. Game over. And there's a highlight. Let's not speak too soon, shall we? Right, whatever you do, boys, don't do something stupid. Don't, 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 don't concede a last minute goal. Don't do it. Good save by Mixedo. Good save. And there's another highlight. I swear, the game will hold on to highlights. Like, second half, there's not been much going on. But the game's like, right, we'll throw three in in the last five minutes. As Hansen's given away a foul. It's about 30 seconds to go. Do not concede. Mexedo holds on to the ball. Keep hold of it. Waste time. We've got, you know, 20 seconds to go. Don't throw away these three points. As the way things stand, we'll be three points clear at the top of the league. The way things stand. Ten seconds to go. Don't do anything silly, boys. Karlstrom finds Kiki, but he does play it back to their goalkeeper. And there is the full-time whistle. We do get a 1-0 win. I will say that was a good win for us. I'm not going to, you know, slag them off too much, really. I want to praise them if they've won. But other games did go in our favour. Our favour? They went off favour as we do now go seven games unbeaten. And that is the league table. Three points clear of Norkabing at the top of the league. There's a bit of a gap now between us, Hammerby, Year Gardens and Hacken. So we are at the top of the league the way things stand 12 games in. So we do now have a summer break, which I think coincides with the Euros. So the, the Euros will happen. I think uh, for... Um, Who's, I think one of our players has gone. Which one of you has gone on international duty? Does it say? I think it's just Frolin. I think Frolin's on international duty. So he's off to the Euros with Sweden. So we will come back probably around August time somewhere. So probably the end of the month. So we'll come back for maybe Halmstads or Hacken. As we will go into the second half of the season. So yeah, 12 games in. More than a third of the way through now. We are top of the league. We are doing what the board expect us to do. Although I still think that Norkabing, Hammerby, Year Gardens, even Hacken are still within that sort of title race. And they can still catch us up. So we will come back around about August time and see if we are still top of the league. 
But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 content. We will be uploading Campus to Champions every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. GMT. And tune in next time as we'll come back around about August time. We'll be in the second third of the season. Will we still be in a title challenge? Thank you very much for watching.